G'day guys and welcome to another week of Fishing Addiction, the show that surprises fish shows all over Australia with incredible fishing adventures. This week we're in Brisbane surprising a guy called Dave. Now he has absolutely no idea we're here, I believe that his factory is just over there. We're in an industrial estate and his family are waiting for us to surprise him. We're taking him to Dundee Beach in the Northern Territory thanks to Wilson Fishing. So let's go surprise our fish show. So that door there, okay. All right, he's about to see us as soon as we walk down here. He's going to see. All right, he's just around the corner. Let's go. That's Dave, Mark. Dave. No way. <laughs> How you going, mate? You're going super. <laughs> Better by the second, by the sounds of it. So you've got an idea why we're here? Yeah, I recognise it. <laughs> Good, mate. How are you? Hi, boss. Scott. Hey, Scott. Um, I might come around that side. Come over, family. Yeah, I'll, I'll get out of this. Crazy. Yeah, you get out of the show. You're not no, coming. I'll get out of I'm hoping for a plus one. <laughs> yeah, not today, unfortunately, mate. Stand up for us. Um, yeah. We're here to take you, you know how the show works, right now on an incredible fishing adventure. We're going to Dundee Beach in the Northern Territory. We're going to chase big black mulloway, barramundi, all sorts of cool fish. How does that sound? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say. That's... Every Aussie bloke Dave, does Dave this. When Mark did actually call me, um, I couldn't believe it at first. Uh, it. I was shaking, my heart was racing. It felt like I had won the competition, but I didn't. Um, it made me, it's, Dave totally deserves it. Um, I was so happy for him, he deserves a break. I was only saying to him the other night, um, let me do the lotto because you have such bad luck. How about you let me try it for one, you know? So I'm, I'm really happy for so him. Happy he really deserves it. All right, and boys. Get a chance to do it. Oh, that's massive. Yeah, that's huge. Sick trip. That's, that's do you guys want to come? Oh, yeah. yeah, of course. <laughs> well, you can't. Bad luck. Maybe I, next time. I would love to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you never know. Are you members? No, I'm not. Ah, see, there you go. The big fella. He's a member. Yep. And the great thing about uh, you, we we pick our winners randomly, but we notice you've been a member, I think, from the beginning. Yeah, for a while now. For a while. I think it's been like three or four years or something along those lines. So we really appreciate that. That's amazing. I was sitting there having a beer with my boss at the end of the day and um, apparently he was all, all aware of what was going on, but I wasn't. And then I looked out the window and I saw my son just walking out. I'm thinking, what's Cody doing here? And then uh, and the big man, Bergie, was right behind him. I'm just, my heart is still going now. Crazy, I just, yeah, I don't think I can stand up. I think I need to sit because my legs are shaking. Maybe because I've been working hard the last couple of days. But of course, you've seen it on the show. There's the Fishing Addiction Challenge. Now, we have 5,000 bucks worth of gear from Wilson up for grabs. That includes Zeric lures, Venom rods, which are just amazing, ATC reels, all sorts of cool stuff. And then on top of that, there's another $2,000 with a fishing tackle, your choice of fishing tackle at addicttackle.com.au. So there's seven grand worth of gear up for grabs. That is up to you. And these boys have said you're not welcome home <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get the gear. Because I'd say they'll be getting their grotty little fingers all over it. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There you go. So uh, we don't know what the challenge is yet. We'll certainly set that once we get up there. But, uh, mate, welcome to the show. Yeah, crazy. Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well done. Well done, you. Thank you. Far out. She gets a kiss. I get a handshake. <laughs> yeah, he's a really nice guy, Dave. He's a hard, hard worker and he's a real good family man and he deserves this trip. Oh, I've been out with him a few late nights and I'll say to him, oh, I wouldn't get out of bed for anyone. He'll go, I, I promised I'm taking the kids fishing and he'll get up and he'll push and take some fish and he does his stuff and genuine. That's the best way to describe Dave. Okay, enough talk. It is time to go. We've got flights to catch first thing in the morning. So say goodbye to the lads. Like now. <laughs> oh yeah, the fatherly slap on the back. Yeah, beautiful. And goodbye to the missus, mate. Enjoy. Beautiful. <laughs> say goodbye to the boss too. <laughs> <laughs> Week Thanks, off, mate. Right on, big fella. Let's go. See you guys. See ya. Bye. Let's go fishing, mate. 
After all the goodbyes, it was time for us to board our plane in Brisbane and fly a few hours to Darwin. Well, we jumped on a bus and drove an hour before arriving at the lodge. We settled into our accommodation for the week with air conditioning, five-star amenities and a swimming pool. Dundee Beach Fishing Charters has all that you need after a long day out on the water. We sat down to a tray of freshly caught mud crabs with a few cold drinks and rested up for the big day ahead tomorrow. It was an early start for Dave and I the next morning, but we didn't mind as we were quite eager to beat the queue at the boat ramp and start fishing as soon as possible. Hey, this is a beast. I love it. Yeah. Big high sides. Very, very roomy inside too. Fish bites down on it and bingo. So for Barra in the snags and stuff. Oh, 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 it's pretty cool, hey? Absolutely. And then, have you seen these yet? Absolute shrimps. No. <laughs> Tell me Dewey's not going to eat that. Yeah, they're going to eat that. On this trip to Dundee Beach, I'm going to show you the lures that we're going to use. Now, there's some in particular that are real standouts, and it's the very first time that I'm getting to use the weedless fish trap. Now, a lot of guys are worried about the hookup rate on these things because the hook is so well hidden. Well, I can tell you, the hookup rate's fantastic. You just got to remember not to strike too early. These fish will swallow these things down, and you can get them anywhere in any snag and you're not going to lose it. You're going to get in with a fish are holding. So they're a really great lure. That's the weedless fish trap. Now, of course, on the reef itself, we've got our regular fish trap with the two trebles either side. These fish, or these uh, fish traps, pretty much catch everything. So if you haven't got a fish trap in your tackle box, go out and get some because I tell you, they're one of the best lures you could ever use on any reef system. Some of the other lures that we're going to be using as well, and I'm sure the coral trout will love these. This is called the absolute shrimp. Now this thing here, it just looks so much like a shrimp. Nice big hook, and the hookup rate on these is very, very high. Coral trout and just about every reef species you can imagine eats prawns and shrimp. And this absolute shrimp, well, it's a winner in my book. So they're the three standouts on this trip to Dundee Beach. It's the weedless fish trap, it's the fish trap, and the absolute shrimp. Check them out. Well, this is it, we're about to start fishing and it looks like we're gonna be doing a fair bit of reef fishing this week and uh, the conditions are sensational. But the lure I'm using is the Zeric Absolute Shrimp. These things are sensational and they pretty much catch everything. What fish doesn't eat prawns or shrimp? So we're in about uh, 18 meters of water. We're gonna drop down. Hopefully we can start finding some fish on our adventure here in the Northern Territory. And a bite already. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good hit. Got ya. Mm, that's better. That's much better. Get up. Ooh. Come on. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> Man, this venom rod feels good. Oh, we got it. Ah, tusk fish hooked in the head. Oh yeah, a very, very pretty fish. Look at the teeth on that. You can see they just, they're there for crushing shells and all sorts of stuff. And they are an absolutely sensational eating fish. Very, very, very nice. Often called a blue bone because their bones are literally blue. Yeah, very nice fish. So we'll take him out for a feed, yeah? Definitely. There we go. Take it easy, take it easy. Up and wine. What do you got? What do you got? Dave's in. I don't feel too bad. He's tiny. Oh, they're hooked. That's not what we want. Dave, that's not going to help him. Oh, fish on. Nice one, too. 
Yes. Yes. That's a real one. All right. No slack line. That's it. You go this way a little bit, my friend. I'll come in here. This is the start. <laughs> See what I can't be for. Yeah, it's a good fish. Here we go, we got leader. Ah, oh, nice grassy. All right, just bring him around this way. Oh, don't lift him out of the water. I'll just lift him in. Look at that for a grassy. Woo-hoo-hoo! fish, Domo. Well done, mate. On. That's a start. Look at that thing. Mate, while we got you, we're going to set the fishing addiction challenge. Yeah? Nice. Cool fish. All right, we're going to put that fish over there. I'm going to give that to our skipper. I'll just freeze for you. Yeah, give that to him. He'll deal with that. It'll go on ice. Right, this is it, mate. We've got $5,000 worth of gear from Wilson. That includes gear from Zeric, ATC reels, Venom rods, all sorts of cool stuff for you. Some mustard stuff as well. 5,000 bucks worth of gear there. And we've got $2,000 worth of fishing gear at addicttackle.com.au. So you can get online and buy what you want. So 7,000 bucks on the line. <laughs> no this is the, you've seen the challenge a million times, haven't you? You know yep. how it works. I know how it works, yeah. Well, Matt and I have been talking last night over a few cold ones, and we've decided to give you a really interesting challenge. You've got to catch a hundred different species of fish. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> 15, 15 species, all right? Now you've just done one, and already this morning I've already caught, I think, six different species. So, mate, in a place like this, where the reef fishing really is that good, you're up for, uh, it's, a, it's a challenge, but I reckon you're gonna be able to do it. How do you feel about that? I'll give it a crack. You give it a crack? Oh yeah. Now, I will just throw this in, that they have to be reasonable fish. Now, you pull up a little reef and it's that big, I don't care if it's new species, man, you don't come all the way to this magnificent place no, to count no. little fish like that. No fish in Yeah. That's right, it's gotta no, be a reasonable enough. fish. And there's just one catch. This time of the year is the toughest time of the year to be catching barramundi. The runoff we've just had was virtually non-existent, so they're not an easy fish to catch. So one of the fish out of the 15, though, needs to be a legal size barramundi. And uh, I'm sure you'd like to catch a barra, wouldn't you? Oh, definitely, yeah. So we're going to throw that in and hopefully Matt can come yet. up with the goods. I've heard he's dodgy, but we'll see how we go. No, just joking. I heard he's the man up here, so congratulations on being here oh. and good luck. I'm already a winner. Yeah, you're already a winner on your 15 species, mate. Let's keep fishing. Let's go. Hey, guys, if you want to support Fishing Addiction, become a member today. Uh, we're really trying to make dreams come true on this show, and uh, with all your support, we, uh, we can do it. But the more members we have, the more trips we can do, the bigger prizes we can give away. So become part of the crew today. Sign up at fishingaddiction.com.au, uh, and you never know, it could be your door that I come knocking on next. Reckon that colour. Oh, that colour. Oh, God, that colour. Oh, still there. Now yeah, I gotcha. That was better. Oh. That's much better. Oh! That's a good fish, too. You! Come on, Dave. He's this silent achiever, he says absolutely nothing. <laughs> there's no yahooing, there's no nothing. It's on the inside, Mark, it's on the inside. It's on the inside, okay. Come on. What is it? Oh, I'm on too. Just a little trouty. Nice, that's another species and I'm on too. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, they were fighting over mine before. Oh, that's a weird dead weight. Oh, it was the bottom. Uh, <laughs> it was a fish, then it was the bottom. That is definitely a keeper. Beautiful little trout. And I'm sure you'll catch plenty more of those. But, uh, mate, that's species number two. Well done. Beauty. Oh, it's 
on the way down. Oh. <laughs> a radical, brother. <laughs> Now we're talking. It's quite heavy. Oh, what is that? I've got two. Have a go at this. I have two fish on here. I have two fish. That is insane. I have a trout and a cod on the same lure. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That is crazy. I wouldn't have expected any less. Oh, oh please. Look at that. <laughs> Now that takes skills, people. I'm not going to take credit for it. Yeah, I'll grab that. I'm definitely going to let the lure take credit. Oh, nice. Look at that. Oh, no way. Isn't that a classic? <laughs> the old fish trap does it again. It's that's ridiculous. Not, that's not advertising, nothing is. Yeah. Totally planned it, of course. Yes, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Fuck, start swimming with me. Just drop oh, some weight. It looked. A lot bigger than what it was. Oh yeah, a little, uh, little tusk fish. Unfortunately, that's just got to be, we can't count that. That's too small, mate. <sighs> Would you agree with that? I'll agree. Yeah, I just don't think that we can count that. It just, yeah, no. I think you can do better. Come on, Betty. Yes, mate. Ooh. What have you got? What have you got? This feels a bit better. Come on. Yeah. What have we got? We got a better tusky. Oh, yeah. Yeah? I think we're keeping this one, mate. Oh, we'll see, mate. I haven't seen it. Yep. <laughs> Wow, oh, that's a that's stonker a... again. Oh. Look at the colour in that one. Crazy. That's a that I, really I think it nailed it. Didn't even move until I whacked it. Yeah. And then it just woke it took up. Took off. Yeah. Great fish, mate. Well done. That's definitely well, species number three. There's no doubting that. Fat Betty's coming back. Fat Betty. <laughs> Might need to point yeah. out to the people at home that that's not your nickname. That's the name of the lure. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I'm on to. No, I'm not dropping. That is a stonker. Well done. One of the coolest names of lures too. Very cool. <laughs> Not on this side. I'm starving. <laughs> he changed his colour? I've got a stripey. Yeah. <laughs> I could have eaten that, I suppose. Sit underneath that. Oh, that's a fish. Got ya. Oh. Yep, yeah, nice one. Uh, it's okay. Feels like a trout. Howdy. Very pretty. Perfect table size fish. Yep, another good table size. Honestly, it's like shooting fish in a barrel, so to speak. Very good. There we go. Oh, that's a nice fish. Got one excited. Oh. Crunch a rooney. Yeah, that's a decent fish. Uh, head thumps could be a nice snapper. Oh, well, now is it coming like a trout? I oh, don't know, still got that thump, thump, thump. <clears throat> oh. Could be a golden snapper. No, another tusky. What is happening with the tuskies today? Man, Killing it. Big. It's good fish. Good. Yeah, very nice. This guy should release okay in this shallower yeah, water. Yeah. Oh, another nice tusk fish. Beautiful. And being in slightly shallower water here, this guy will release perfectly. We don't need to keep all the fish we catch. Just enough for a feed. All right, there we go, mate. 
and we'll go almost straight away, I'll guarantee it. Away he goes. Oh, hello Christmas. That's more like it. That's more like it. Oh, it's taking line. Oh. Yes. Oh, that feels good. That feels good. I got a feeling we're gonna have an amazing week of fishing here. Oh, look at the size of the blue bone. Oh, it's a cracker. Look at him. Look at that fish in the water. That is magnificent. Bring, whoa, oh, 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 oh. Bring him back over to you, mate. Look, he just spat up all of his insides. Oh, nearly. Cracker, look at that one. Oh, that is a solid fish. Look at that guy. Again, you can see that fish trap right in the corner of the mouth and just on his face there. They do honestly catch just about every reef species. What a magnificent fish. He's, he's a good sort of four kilos plus, this fish. And just a sensational table fish. Beautiful white flesh, flaky meat, great flavor. And uh, just a really unique fish too. And they call them blue bones because their bones are blue, which is just amazing. But again, they do suffer from barotrauma, so he's definitely gonna go on ice. Very, very cool fish. It's still the morning of day one here at Dundee Beach and Dave has knocked off three out of the 15 species he needs to win the fishing addiction challenge. Eager to continue his streak, our guide Matt spotted a school of what appeared to be tuna out wide, so he started the motor up and headed over to investigate. Oh, it's doing that typical tuna sounding thing. Often when you find these schools of tuna, they're only small ones. You can chuck a vibe or, or uh, any kind of lure really directly underneath the school and there's often various fish like uh, cobia and oh, all sorts of species feeding underneath, even golden snapper. This is a little long tail and I threw in the absolute shrimp and it scoffed it. Like I said, everything eats a prawn. He's doing a typical tuna dance where he just goes round and in circles and sounds under the boat. Oh, come on mate, pound for pound. Woo. Pound for pound, they are such an incredible fighter. Oh, come on, mate. Like you come. <laughs> Never get sick of that sound, no matter how old you are, how many years you've been fishing. It's a glorious sound. Come on, mate, up you come. Yeah, yep. yeah a little mac tuna, like we thought. It's mac tuna here and a few smaller long tails in amongst them. And you can see why they call them mac tuna, obviously, with that beautiful mackerel coloration on their back. And like all the tuna species, their fins just fold away perfectly. They're so streamlined. And I'm going to catch them again. <laughs> you did it on purpose, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind catching you twice. Watch your feet, Will. Oh, yes, he's on. Woohoohoo! Yes, That's mate. He'll scream now. Go, Dave. Oh, I see one towards the boat. Another species. Get it. Oh, not quite yet. Oh, 
one back? No, I think we'll uh, hang on to that one. Uh, one of the best baits for G fish you can get, so I think oh, we'll yeah, um, better get him in there. Oh, well, we'll hang on to that guy, <laughs> keep, then. keep that I'll one I'll keep him low, eh? <laughs> nice, and that's another species, mate. Number four, well done. Yes. Have you caught a Mac tuna before? Yeah, it was actually one of the first tuna I've caught. Is that right? Was that? <laughs> <laughs> right a yeah, big Mac tuna. Sound a little nervous. <laughs> After that fun little session on the tuna, we've decided to come into the shallows here and see if we can find some queen fish. Another species for Dave, nice big queenie would be lovely. And it really is a lot of fun. So the technique is uh, we're basically just trolling some little stick baits, some little pencils from Duo, and they just sit there back in the wash and they are in that, they're only like five, ten metres behind the boat. That's all you need to do. It's a good way to find the school of queenies if they're here. And when one goes off, you wind your other one in, cast in behind the other one, and normally there's a mate that will eat it as well. We're only in about two, three metres of water at the most. Nice clean water. The queen fish love these sandy bays. And they push all the bait into the shallows and just smash them. They're such a fun, fun fighting fish to catch. So hopefully we can find a few. Oh, yep, yep, yep. There they are. Would you like yes, to mate. see them next to us? And I'm going to have a cast out here because they're just there too. Oh, look at them all. They're just cruising here in the shallows right next to us. You can see them all. And I'm a bit tangled. Oh, yep. <laughs> How good was that? Oh, that's hectic. I thought he tried to rub me. Oh, look at the size of him. What a perler. Get him in, mate. Let's go. Yes! Yes, look Your at beauty. that fish. Woo! Oh, that's a cracker first one. That's your first queenie. Oh, yeah. Well Hit done, mate. Yes. What a fish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Saw it, take it, the whole lot, love that. How good is that? Oh, that is. And you didn't have much confidence in that trolling five metres behind the boat technique, did you? Oh, I just never, I never try it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate, have a go at that. <laughs> For your first queen fish. That's a beauty. <laughs> that was only a couple of days ago, mate, that we came knocking on your door and look at you doing. Oh, just, I don't know. Words just can't, can't describe it, that's for sure. <laughs> Dreamt oh. dreamt to seeing that, you know, they have a queen to go my law. And you see, actually, wow. to see it unfold at the back of the boat, it's so yeah. cool. But these yeah. things, they'll go yellow very, very quickly because the lactic acid builds up. They don't live... They fight pretty hard. Yeah, they yeah. fight hard and they don't live very long outside of the water. So I think, uh, you can see why they call them skinnies too, can't you? A very skinny yep. body. They don't live too well. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold him in the water, just give him a swim. So you'll actually lean right over, keep a hold of his tail. And swim him up and down, and you'll know when he wants to go. And just uh, let him go, and he'll swim away. Look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. How good's that? And that's species number four. <laughs> you can't keep doing that. What is it then? <laughs> I'm is losing count. Is that five? 
Dave had wrestled his queenfish back to the boat, bringing his total up to six species. And seeing as there are only schools and schools of queenfish around the boat, we decided to move back onto the reef and keep hunting for new species. This trip for David, I think it's, it's the trip of a lifetime. Um, I don't know if we would ever get up there. Um, and just for him to be able to experience that type of fishing and just get all of those experiences, um, he'll, he'll never forget it. Hello Christmas. Oh. Lightened up a little bit and why am I going that way? Oh. Well, I was in for sure then. Oh. Moses. What, what do you got? Little Moses. Moses perch. Oh, that's a species. Mate. Oh, bent rods, bent oh, rods. Oh, this is probably the heaviest one I've had today. It's a real fish, a real one. That's what I was waiting for. A oh, little tail wax. Yeah, big trout. Look at that thing. Oh, that's an upgrade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that one. To the Holy top. Holy smokes. Look at that fish. <laughs> awesome trout. That's a cracker. you got to get a photo of that one, mate. Well done. That's a beauty. Woo! Yeah. All right, mate. Well, I think it's time for a cold one. Uh, we've got a bit of a run home yet. And, uh, geez, I hope the weather stays the same. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a bit it's... nice. <laughs> It's uh, she's very, very flat. Yeah, we'll take that. Considering where we are, yeah, you know, it, it's good. Righto, Matty, let's go home, mate. Full noise. This morning is all about Barra Monday. Now we are in the middle of winter, and uh, there's basically been no wet season prior, so. You know, it's not been the best Barramundi season, has it, Matt? It's been a bit tough, no, hasn't it? It's been a bit of a tough year, but um, the uh, temperatures are all right today and don't see any reason why we shouldn't catch them. You've been fishing up here for how long now? Uh, I've been here for eight years. Eight years. So you pretty much got this place sussed, haven't you? Uh, to a degree. <laughs> yeah, don't I be guess. shy, mate. No, don't be coy. You, uh... you never stop learning, though, do you? No, that's right. You never know what you're going to see in an estuary in the Northern Territory. So I reckon, yeah. see on this, this bank here, mm -hmm. uh, don't always get big fish, but you usually get On the trawl. So not too long ago, barramundi fishing was changed by the fish trap and soft plastics. And uh, these have been so successful and are now so popular up in the top end in particular for Big Barra. But this is a game changer yet again. It's also a fish trap, but it's a weedless fish trap. Check it out. So basically it just looks like a bald fish trap with no trebles, but it has those patented slits in the side of them, just like the um, flat shads. And basically what happens is the barra bites it and that lure is exposed. So it's a weedless fish trap. Can you believe it? That is so cool. Comes in a range of different colors as you would expect, but just look at that. As soon as it bites down, that, hook's, that hook is exposed and you should hook the fish. Oh, your fish on. That's a big fish, whatever it is. Oh, it's gone around the stick. Shivers, we need to get in there. Have I still got him on? Yeah, he's still on. He's just wrapped around. 
Come out. Oh, he's out. I think he's out. Nah, nearly. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. It's a good bar. He's out now. He's out. I got him. Okay, nice and low. Yes. yes! Oh my lord! Have how'd we worked hard for this fish? How'd you get it out of the snag? I don't know how he got out. Just leave the lure in its mouth. Yep. And I'll um, come and grab him. Oh, look at that thing. I'll pass you the rod if you don't mind there, mate. Oh, that's a lovely fish. We've worked hard for this guy. I'll just flip him around so you can see that weedless fish trap. The hook pointing down. Gorgeous fish. And he was right, right up the back of that snag. There was no way, I tell you, there's no way any other lure would have been able to get that fish out of there. I really believe that. He's just beautiful. Look at the color, real chrome, real salty. Absolutely magnificent fish and a legal size fish too. Very, very cool. Happy with that. A lot of hard work for one fish. Whenever you think he's ready to go, mate, you send him home. Yep, he's starting to bite down on my hands, so. Yep, that's good. He's uh, pretty close. There we go. Now kick. See you, pal. Thanks heaps, mate, for showing up. Well done, Matty. Good time. job, mate. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, man, sometimes you got to work hard. They don't just jump in the boat, I can tell you. After spending most of the day casting with only that one barramundi on board, we decided to try our luck by trolling up the river. It wasn't too long before Dave's rod loaded up. Fish on! Is it a snag or a fish? No, it's a <laughs> Okay, here we go. Fish straight away. What have you got, my friend? What? Is it a snag? No, oh, no, it's going. It's and going. going and I'm running out of line real fast. Okay, we're going to reverse up on it. No panic. As he's going backwards, you've got to be whining, yeah, okay? Whoa. A couple of centimetres. <laughs> oh, See, we're it. going backwards, so just keep whining. Yep, that's it. even come across the other side of me. Mate, that lure is in for five seconds. Burnt me, Wind, 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 wind. Because we're coming towards it. Yep, go past me. Yep, that's it, well done. Hopefully it's not a crocodile. Are you still on? No. Nah. He might be coming straight towards you. No. Nah. Do not know what happened there. Wow. I wonder what that was. Bad luck, mate. That's fishing. Yeah. Oh, good sign though. Prop the lure in. 30 seconds, not even. 10 seconds, bang. Oh. Hopefully it, you weren't connected to that thing. Look at the size <laughs> of this thing. Flippin' dooly. Well guys, that brings us to the end of part one of our fishing adventure here at Dundee Beach in the Northern Territory. But before we go, let's take a quick look at what we've got in store for you next week. Yes! <laughs> look at that thing! Woo! <laughs> Five minutes oh. in! Oh my gosh! What a yes! What a fish! Oh, real thing! What a fish, man. Holy smokes, you are looking good, my friend. <laughs> now don't forget, for your chance to come on the show, go to fishingaddiction.com.au and register, and you never know, I might come knocking on your door. Until next week, I'm Mark Berg. You stay safe and God bless.